Investigative reporter Emily Sinovic talked to a voter who was turned away at the polls. So Emily, how was that even possible? Ellen, that's a good question, and that's what an Overland Park man would like to know. And remember, this is Johnson County, where they've already been raked over the coals for long delays, problems with the new $10 million voting machines, delays in reporting ballot counts, a county with more than 400,000 registered voters. It was a registered longtime voter who was turned away, told he had already voted. Nobody knew what to do, and the computer says you voted, so what else can you do? Not vote. That's all Clayton Turrentine could do. He's still scratching his head over this one, replaying what happened through every step of a multi-step process when voting in Johnson County. So I gave him my driver's license and, you know, I signed the, the iPad and I did that and I printed out my ticket, so I'm waiting in line. And then they come back and it's my turn and they don't have my ticket anymore. He says he saw one of the election workers pick up his ticket, thinking she'd come back to escort him to a booth. Well, that didn't happen. I think somehow they got the tickets mi mixed up and they gave my ticket to somebody else. We do know Election Day workers go through four hours of training before Election Day in Johnson County. But Turrentine says they didn't seem to be trained to handle what happened to him. I guess they didn't verify who that person was when they were at the voting machine. And they just voted on my ticket. Because when election workers tried to give him another ballot, he was denied. But when they went to the computer, it, uh, it had showed that I had voted and I hadn't voted. A sorry was about all he got. It just came down to human error. It's just things got confused. It didn't seem like they knew if there was anybody to call or, you know, anything. They were just kind of frozen. Yeah, there are a lot of questions we still have. I contacted county election officials to find out what was supposed to happen, what you should do if you had any issues, and if there were any other instances of something like this happening countywide. Now, as soon as we hear back, we will keep you posted. But again, this story is far from over. A lot of questions. If you had any issues, we want to hear from you. Our contact information is at the KCTV5.com website. Back to you, Ellen. All right, thank you, Emily.